Hey, what's up YouTube? I am uh, here today with another just quick uh, tutorial. Um, got another another BMW here. It's uh, similar to the car I did my oil pump fix video on. It's uh, another 7 Series uh, 740IL. And it's got the 4 liter uh, V8 in it. Anyways, I, I picked this car up, got it pretty cheap, and uh, you know, it had an overheating issue, and, and I bought it knowing that. Uh, I wasn't, you know, too terribly upset when I figured out why. Um, anyways, I've been messing with it for a couple days. I put a new water pump and stuff on it. Uh, thermostat, that kind of stuff, flush cooling system, made sure all that was tip top. And it was just throwing me off a little bit because the car would run so good for an hour or so. But then I noticed the, uh, the cooling system was getting pretty pretty pressurized more than it should be in fact uh i had a little incident yesterday it blew the radiator cap apart and scalded me with hot water pretty good on my wrist but uh anyways i was going to show you guys today one of the about simplest ways to check for a head gasket issue using a simple cylinder leakage tester uh i got this one here it's uh it's not a cheapy Harbor Freight one, but it's not top of the line. It works just fine. Uh, anyways, you can use this not only to check for cylinder leak down, you know, whether you're checking for a, a you know, burnt or bent valve or, you know, you got some bad piston rings or a hole in the piston, whatever it be. You can use this to check all that kind of stuff. Well, you can also use it to check for, uh, you know, if you have a uh, head gasket issue, or maybe a cracked cylinder head or cracked sleeve or something and uh, I was just going to show you a real quick simple way to do that so you've got your your hose here this this guy it just uh, you know hooks in this coupler here in the end you thread that hose down in whichever whichever cylinder that you're checking uh, one thing to note is you want to make sure that you have that cylinder that you're checking at the time on the compression stroke you want to make sure that all the valves are closed or what would be in the closed position and that way you can pressurize the cylinder you know without any uh, false reading on the leak down tester so make sure those valves are closed whether it be your engine is required to be at top dead center or whatever just make sure it's on the compression stroke when you do it so I find one of the easiest ways to do that is uh, just to hook the gauge up and you know set the gauge up correctly and then just start turning the engine over by the crankshaft real slow until you you know pretty much know where your top dead center mark is um now if you have a burnt or bent valve or a, a big issue obviously you're not going to find it that way because they're just going to gush right past it so you'll have to actually find your timing marks you know down on your your pulley down there at the bottom and figure that out that way but nonetheless just make sure that you're on the compression stroke before you check so anyways um i was kind of going down the line doing these i did all four on this side first and i started you know in the front i had about ah 15 percent there which that was okay that's within operating range uh the second one back the one that it's on now i had 40 percent which is borderline too much so I went ahead and I did the next two. I had about the same as the first one in the last two. So I think it was like, I think it was like 15 on the third one. And then uh, I think it was about 18 on the fourth one. So plenty good on those three. But anyway, so when I got done with that last one, I came back here to the second one that had 40. And I went ahead and took my gauge just as, you know, you're gonna take and, and set it up. So on these, what you'll do, is you'll you want your regulator backed all the way out so you got no pressure on it and before you hook your line up here you want to just start turning your regulator clockwise so it starts building some pressure in the gauge and you want to set this gauge this is also the correct way to use it when you're checking for leak down but you want to turn your regulator until that needle hits the zero mark Right there. Now you know your gauge is set. You can go ahead and just lock that back down. And then from there, you want to hook up your line. Now, before I do that real quick, um, the main purpose of this video, using this tester to check for 
a head gasket imperfection or a cracked head or sleeve or something what I did was I took my radiator cap off here and I topped off the expansion tank right to the top now it's not supposed to be that high you can see here this little gizmo in fact when it's full is just supposed to be level with the the top of the expansion tank here so but I topped it off for this so I could keep a close eye on the coolant and what I did is I hooked up my line here now you'll see I've got yeah maybe a pinch under 40 percent leak down on that cylinder which technically that's still within range however I was keeping a close eye here on my coolant if you watch very slowly it's rising in fact I should be able to see here in a second it's probably going to spill over yeah you can see it coming up there it goes now that is because I have either a head gasket issue or a cracked cylinder head um, and what's happening is the cylinder pressure is entering the cooling jackets somewhere you know in the engine and it's pressurizing my cooling system uh, to the point where you know it, it opens the radiator cap up spews all the water out and then the damn thing tries to overheat so nonetheless um, I know I need to pull the cylinder head figure out what's going on I haven't read a whole lot oh hold on one sec sorry about that the air compressor kicked on as loud as shit anyways um I was seeing I I haven't read a whole lot of uh of common occurrences where these uh four liters blow head gaskets apparently they're more notorious than anything for the cylinder heads cracking um obviously it's an aluminum block aluminum headed engine uh heat you know is a is a major enemy to to any motor so um, when i bought the car i knew it needed a water pump i have a feeling the previous owner probably drove it overheated it and that's what caused the whether it be head gasket issue or or crack cylinder issue or head whatever it is so nonetheless um kind of an expensive repair depending on your car i know this one's probably going to set me back uh quite a bit if i do decide to pull the head um, I actually found a used engine that's only got 113,000 miles on it uh, for 600 bucks. So, and it's a complete turnkey motor. So I might just end up picking that one up and swapping the motor. The car is definitely nice enough uh, exterior and interior wise to justify the cost of it. So, and like I said, I got the car very cheap. So, um, yeah. Other than that, the car is you know great. It drives great. It it's crazy that it's even got that. Uh, that head gasket issue because the thing runs just amazing the motor sounds so nice and has good power and anyways kind of bums me out i was not looking forward to that but it was kind of just a, a car i bought knowing that it needed a little work so i'm not too terribly upset about it it's something i plan on hanging on to for a while anyway so i'm a diehard 7 series guy i love these cars um yeah they're cool anyways just the uh the uh, gist of the video is using a cylinder you know leak down tester to check for a, a head gasket imperfection or you know again a crack cylinder or crack cylinder head um, they're great for numerous things um, if you think you might have a burnt or bent exhaust valve um, same test get your um, you know cylinder to top dead center or on compression stroke and set your gauge up just like I described before and you can actually go back and stick your ear if, if you notice you've got a lot of leak down go back and stick your ear up against the tailpipe if you hear air gushing through your tailpipe well you know the air is escaping past the exhaust valve same goes for the intake valve set your gauge up do it just the same the way you're supposed to if you've got a lot of leak down stick your ear up against your, your uh, air intake inlet you know whether it be where it's at obviously mine's really easy to get to right there uh, or you could take it off the throttle body or whatever and uh, if you've got a carburetor, just stick your ear up against the, the, you know, lid of the carburetor. And if you hear air gushing out there, well, you know, you've got an intake valve issue. So pretty, pretty straightforward to use. Uh, things are super handy and they're relatively cheap. Um, you know, like I said, that's not, that's not a cheapy uh, Harbor Freight one, but it's not a real expensive one either. So it's kind of middle of the road and it works great. But uh, yeah, I hope that video helps somebody else out. Like I said, I'm, 
I don't make a lot of videos, but when I come across something as simple as this and as easy as this, and it just makes sense to make a video and, and uh, share the information. So, yeah, if you got any questions or comments, obviously, you can always shoot them down below. Uh, thanks.